the Hash It Out Podcast. 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 Presented by Driven Ecosystem. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to the set of the Hash It Out Podcast. I'm your host, Cody Krantz. Happy New Year. Happy 2022. Hope you guys had a great New Year's Eve, a great holiday in general. I hung around at home with the wife and kids, and we fell asleep at 1130, and that's the joys of having kids. Um, today, in t today, what I want to talk about are NFTs, non-fungible tokens. What do you know about them? Do you know anything? You think they're a big joke? Well, according to a lot of experts, 2022 should be the year of the NFT. And what does that mean? Because this year, 2021, we saw the rise of the NFT into pop culture. We saw uh, celebrities buying Bored Ape Yacht Clubs. We saw Logan Paul buying a bunch. We saw a lot of NFTs. We saw Pete Davidson uh, on, <laughs> on SNL kind of goofing on NFTs. And the internet in general has been goofing on NFTs. There's a whole meme going around about, oh, why don't I just right click and save? And now I own your NFT. And uh, the running joke is people getting mad about somebody copying or screenshotting their NFT and then reposting it. And that's fine. Um, in the current state of what an NFT is, maybe you understand it as a piece of artwork. And, and currently that's the most popular version of the NFT. But with 2022, I think what we're going to see uh, with all these new metaverses and gaming platforms coming out is we're gonna see the rise of the NFT being used for things like authentication. And the biggest trend for 2022, in my opinion, will be the growing involvement of big corporations and brands in uh, integrating NFTs into whatever their product is. We've already seen large companies like Nike uh, and, and Adidas go live with their NFT collections. Very successful, I might add. They made a couple hundred million dollars each on their NFTs. And so I think that 2022, we can expect to see the NFT rise in popularity in the same way that cryptocurrency rise in popularity through 2021. In fact, for the year 2021, Collins Dictionary has made the acronym NFT its word of the year. Yes, an acronym is the word of the year. I know what is going on. Uh, but in the opinion of these dictionary experts, NFT is more representative of the world this year than any other recently fashionable word. That's kind of crazy. I mean, you know, I, I've been asked personally by people in my life, what is an NFT? Uh, and then when you explain to them it's a non-fungible token, I mean, that doesn't help at all. The easiest way to explain it is that an NFT is a way to prove ownership of something. So Collins Dictionary goes on to describe NFTs as a buzzword that they've heard over and over and over again over the past 12 months and breathless news reports and all over social media. And Despite that, as big as 2021 has been for NFTs, most industry players expect 2022 to be an even bigger year for them. Uh, a lot of people are betting on the rise of the metaverse. I mean, we're seeing all these metaverses come out out of nowhere. Um, and we're seeing that the metaverses are going to start integrating NFTs into wearables or rideables. Uh, all, anything that you could have in the game you could is probably going to be used as an NFT in 2022 as we see these metaverses really roll out and get out of their alpha and beta phases into actual actually being used. I think we're going to see a lot of NFTs being used in that sector this year. And one thing that I think we all need to remember is that even though you know, 2021 has seen a lot of money flow into the NFT world and, and it's come into popular culture. I mean, we saw Beeple on Joe Rogan recently. We saw um, Elon Musk being talked about NFTs, kind of joking. Uh, Keanu Reeves joking about NFTs. But, you know, we're still in the earliest stages of development for NFTs systems and NFTs in general. So in 2022, we should see, we should really see them grow exponentially. Um it's really easy to forget that the NFT industry is so young because like in crypto years, it seems like one month is almost a year. So, you know, NFTs have been around for a year. It seems really long, especially with how much stuff has happened in the crypto market this year. One thing that we're really going to see, I mean, besides Nike and Adidas, there are other 
large corporations that are going to start dipping their toes into the NFT world like uh, Electronic Arts, Activision, and Lucasfilm, to name a couple if you've ever heard of them. They're only the developers of probably some of your kids or friends' favorite video games. So you can already tell that NFTs are probably going to pay play a big role in video gaming going forward, especially in games like, let's talk about Call of Duty, for instance, where you have rare skins, rare vehicles. I'm pretty sure you're going to start seeing those roll out in the form of NFTs through Activision and Electronic Arts and things like that. Mintable CEO and co-founder Zach Burks tells CryptoNews.com that the rise of NFTs will also help drive more people into crypto and blockchain in, in general. And I, I tend to agree with that. Um, you know, gaming is one of the biggest industries out there. It's a multi-billion dollar industry every year. And there's a lot of people who play video games. So if they start integrating NFTs into video games, you're going to see a lot more people having to use cryptocurrency because NFTs, the way they work, they're working on blockchains and you need cryptocurrency and able to do things with those NFTs like mint or, uh, or, or sell or trade them. You need cryptocurrency. Now, how much are NFTs going to grow within 2022? Well, that's all a matter of speculation. I mean, nobody can really say how much they're going to grow, but I personally expect them to, to grow exponentially. I mean, in 2021, we saw the NFT market in general do about 30, 30x, which is great. But 30x isn't that much compared to you know the global impact that NFTs are probably going to start having in 2022. I mean, we could see another 30 to 100x on NF, NFT industry in general, I mean, very easily. Especially as brands like Facebook, who has who's recently changed to Meta because they're going into the metaverse. I mean, we can we can almost guarantee that what they're going to be doing is going to have to do with NFTs as well. One other thing that I hadn't personally thought about, but um, I'm reading about, is that luxury brands are looking into using NFT technology to integrate into their goods so that you can prove that it's a real, you know, like for instance, like if you have a Gucci, I don't know, Gucci something, it'll have an NFT associated with it so that you can prove that it's an authentic piece of Gucci material. And, you know, this will help them a lot because for as long as I can remember, there's been a huge market for knockoff luxury brands, Gucci, Burberry, Coach, things like this, purses, wallets, belts, whatever. Um, NFT technology will help them be able to authenticate and show that a product is real. So, I mean, you know, there are real world use cases coming out. Also, I've I've seen some other people in the music industry talk about using NFTs um, for royalty payouts and things like that. You know, it's very interesting. And I think that as people start to understand what, what NFT technology is uh, capable of, I think that a lot of people, I, it, I'm sure it's already in development, especially in a lot of these places. I'm sure, you know, Universal Music has something working behind the scenes with NFTs, you know, um, Getting a NFT developer or a developer in general for crypto is really tough and they're really expensive now because there is so much demand for these large corporations to help something be built for them on the back of cryptocurrency. I mean, you know, and if you if you want any proof that cryptocurrency is, is going to stay, uh, even if regulation comes in in whatever form, cryptocurrency is here to stay because the big corporations are starting to adopt cryptocurrency into their everyday uses. They wouldn't be doing this if it was going to get shut down. They wouldn't be wasting millions of dollars uh, building this sector within their business if they didn't think that they were going to stick around. I mean, I say it in almost every video. I think it's too late for regulation to come down fully and stop cryptocurrency. So with that being said, I mean, of course, we're looking at some kind of regulation coming in. I mean, it's it's been a long time due. Um and a lot of people in the industry do expect that NFT regulation will start to emerge this year. We're not exactly sure what that's going to be, um, but it's probably going to be a few years before anything is actually enacted. And it's always hard to predict upcoming regulation, um, but we do expect some kind of regulation to be drafted or proposed within this year or the next coming years because there's just so much money within this space. But there's just not enough information right now to predict how broad regulation will be or how restrictive it will be. <clears throat> uh, some people think that NFTs ideally should be treated as digital certificates of ownership and nothing more. 
Um, and, and I tend to agree. I mean, I think that's really the future of NFTs, you know, for things like uh, anything that that can be reproduced and exploited, like concert tickets, driver's license, license plates, registration, all of these things could be uh, have a future within the NFT space because they're hard or damn near impossible to uh, to fake. And so as we move into 2022, I want to I want to know from you guys, are you into NFTs? Or do you own any digital art at this point? I mean, personally, it's hard for me to look at a lot of NFT projects that don't have real utility or a use case um, that are purely art. I understand maybe if the artist is a super famous person, you know, like Banksy or something like that, I could understand it. Um but if there's no utility, if it's not being used in some form, you know, and it's it's solely based on the art, I think that the market for that is much smaller than what could be going forward, right? So if, for instance, Nike has its shoes, its wearables that you can wear in a certain metaverse, that has a use. While ma many people may see that as a useless use because they're not gamers or they just won't, don't have any... Um, need or want to be a part of a metaverse, then that's understandable. But what about the future NFTs? I mean, do you do you personally see a future for it where we're using an NFT in everyday everyday life? You know, think about this. You you come to your home, your key looks like this now. It has an NFT inside it. Boom, that gives you access to your building, to your car. What do you think an NFT would have any use like that? I personally, I think that's more the future than let's say a board ape yacht club, where it's an exclusive like club where you can talk to whoever owns it, you know, Snoop Dogg or whatever, whoever's the owner of one of these apes, you know, that are selling for exorbitant amounts of money. Um, and it's, in my opinion, just kind of like a luxury item at this point. I've also seen a lot of stories recently of of people making crazy money and and these uh, like little kids who created an NFT collection are making millions of dollars at 11, 12 years old already. And, you know, these are the stories that always come to the forefront of, of um, these narratives about whatever comes out, right? Because money drives everything. And so I think that a lot of the NFT craze this year has been kind of like a gold rush where people think that they're going to get in at the bottom floor and, and make a lot of money, which is kind of the same thing like with these micro cap cryptos that keep coming out. You know, people keep investing early because they want to be there for the 1000x when it blows up, right? They want to be on the ground floor of whatever is going to blow up. And that's why a lot of people fall victim to scams. Uh, we've seen a number of these NFT projects that are backed by major people like Low Pump or uh, six, Takashi 69 And the project ends up in the shitter not worth anything. Uh, they make a, a ton of money and then they delete everything off their social media, you know, and that's unfortunate. And that is going to happen just like crypto when there's a lot of new people entering the space who are looking to make, you know, a lottery winning. Um, in my opinion, I think 2022 is going to see us evolving a lot. I think NFTs will be uh, part of pop culture going forward. I think you're going to see a lot of places that you're not expecting nfts to be integrated into integrated and i think that we're going to see a lot less of the the i think i think we're going to see a lot less of the nfts that are based solely on art and a lot more of nfts that are based on utility so let me know what you think down in the comments uh be on the lookout for our nft project the cyber knights which will be released here in a few weeks and uh the artwork is really cool, but there will also be some integrations into some metaverses, which we haven't announced yet, but stay tuned for that. Also, please check out drivenecosystem.store where you can check out all our new merch, including this Crypto for the People hoodie. We have t-shirts, hoodies, men's, women's. We have some kids stuff, and we also have some cups where you can uh, get some drink cups and coffee cups. Also, I'd really encourage you to check out the affiliate link in the description below. Get yourself a ledger if you own any crypto. Keep your crypto safe. It's the best way to go. And 
Thanks for joining me. That's all I have for you today. Enjoy the new year. Enjoy your family. Stay safe. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for listening to the Hash It Out podcast. 